Hello, YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. Uh, playing a little bit of Stranglehold for the Xbox 360. Uh, I was playing this live, and again, I'd like to thank everybody, including Phoenix and the others who happen to watch. Uh, it was pretty good, pretty good crowd. You know, my brother kicked in there, relax. You know, we were all just kicking back. But you know what? I want to do this gameplay footage a little bit differently and. You know, talk a little bit one to one. People normally don't. Alright, I'll pause that for a second. You know, a lot of people usually don't get a lot of my feelings or my emotions um, a lot of people can just say or use the term that I'm a very emotionally deprived kind of guy where I don't express my emotions but I feel them and they sort of explode on me and you know self mutilation in that aspect I treat my emotions like I would treat a child you discipline them until they uh, well until until they need to uh, Go to recess, so to speak. You know, growing up, I didn't really have a lot of friends that I could, you know, depend on. Now, do I consider anyone whatsoever on the internet anything bad? No. I, I don't consider having friends on the internet a bad thing at all. That's a great thing because it's at least a way to profit yourself some sort of community and also a establishment of you know communication because friendship is communication it's not this entire process of the lights it's getting kind of emotional with the dark and dirty in here all right but if you get what i'm saying i can i consider everybody who watches my videos everybody who just you know talks to me in general on the internet really my friends nowadays and all those who are outside of my the internet as well you know I, I do have a select few remainder friends from high school because you know how friends from the like high school not that usually roll now uh, you have some of those who move on and do stuff important with their lives you know you got to respect that then you got the others who just say screw that guy and then just do what that do what they have to do then you have those who stick around with you you know, I got a friend named Dave. Um, he's a great guy. You know, he's very down to earth. He's very funny as hell. You know, and you got Kevin, who we, who we hanged out with, got acquainted him a little bit. You know, I don't think Kevin feels the same way about me anymore. But uh, <laughs> friendship-wise, because because uh, I think his philosophy is they don't talk to me for more than a week at hell with you. But um, you know, I I have friends that I acquainted with and talked to for a while. You know, they had their own interesting styles of hanging out. Um, you know, I, I don't do it as much, but, you know, that, that is my kind of way to party, so to speak. I, I don't really consider any lifestyle that bad anyway, but anyway, back on track. A lot of people consume me to be an asshole sometimes. I don't try to tend to I tend don't to try to be a jerk to anybody Where are you on a helicopter and losing my temp hang in there you gotta try and stop the golden cane from moving weapons and drugs to the flotilla it's time to but some boats. check that chopper for some whole mines Let's see.
you know, I really appreciate everybody on here. I'm sorry if I'm pausing. It's focus factor plus, yeah. You know, not a lot of people really hear me express myself at all. Um, I don't want people to feel like I'm a, like ignoring them or anything like that, or I'm not expressing myself to them equally. Because, you know, everyone has their own way to express themselves. My brother and I are kind of the type of guys that won't necessarily, you know, throw out our feelings right away. Try to figure out these guys are Cuban or something. Anyway, you know, it's, it's one of those type of things that... I'm very closed-minded with that. I, I don't try to express myself because sometimes I got hurt that way. And that's one of the reasons why. You know, I, I don't say that everyone on here hurt me or anything like that. I'm not an emo. I just don't express myself in that specific way. Um, again, I do appreciate everybody who's been there for me, who's been talking to me, and... That's one boat. Again, I'm very grateful for everybody um, who, like I said again, I, I know I've been getting too sappy and all that. It's like I actually know what I'm doing. Anyway, um, yeah. Hey, Kima, it's me again, bud. Meet me on Wong's yacht out near the shipping hangar. I'll send a water taxi for you. Again, a lot of people say I'm wise beyond my words, and I'm a hell of a guy and all that. I, I, I thank you again for those words. Sometimes I feel like I don't contribute myself enough to everybody. And I feel like that's unfair, and I apologize for it. Now, some people go, well, computer's a damn modest. Be a man. Yeah, you know, that, that, that's one of the aspects, too, of being human. Sometimes I feel like I'm being a little bit too human. <laughs> but, either way. Yeah. I guess there's plain kills going on here. Damn boat. This is Lee. Tequila. We 
Navy paramedics and uniforms out at the flotilla now. Did someone promote you to captain? I said I wanted you back at HQ. Make the call. Fire me later. I've got to go to board and search. What? What are you doing? Got the lead on Jimmy Wong, and I want to know if he is behind this wall. I told you to stay the hell away from this investigation. If you don't you start listening up. to me, then get out. That sucks. How the hell do you get to that one? there now. Has to be a way. Very long mission so far. It's the King James because it's intense. You are big enough to have a street address. The name is Dom Hong. Sue. You got bad history. I know. Then why are you trying to kill me? If I found that you were dead, you already would be. Today, I need your help. <laughs> There's a 
look I haven't seen on your face a lot? Confusion? Let me clear it up for you. The Golden Cane put out the head of their cop, not Dragonclaw. They made it look like me by leaking my I-9 crew's signature. Ah, I guess orders for... Don't be a smartass. I ain't looking for a hug for no cop. You gonna listen, or am I wrong? You talk. Young Gee's Golden King partnered up with a Russian crew out of Chicago. Dave and Zakharov and his boys. They want Hong Kong. My territory. Pick them up. You've got the muscle. Yes, I got the guns and muscle. But the Zakharovs have. to ask me to bring them back with you? How do you live with this? I'm used to being. Come with us.
Now, well, how the hell do you get past this car? Well, anywho, uh, waste enough of your time. Take it easy, guys.